I think that's a pretty good example of some of the struggles I face as a global citizen. It's hard to keep up with friends, it's hard to keep track of the places you like, and it's very difficult to prioritize quality over quantity. And because of this, I wanted to build Bucket Bee, which is a lifestyle app for global citizens to help you keep tabs on your favorite people and places. So I don't have an account yet, so let's register real quick. I'm going to fill in this form that will help customize my user experience and get more personalization. Entering my favorite emojis here. And that will bring me to my home page, which is uh, Hello Pamela with my personalized background. My profile looks a bit bare, so let's add a profile picture. And voila! And now let's show you what the app will look like after a few months of usage. So now I have all my close friends and family here, just them, because I don't have time for other people. And I'm gonna blast out a location update to everyone with just a few clicks and they can all get this message. Hey, I'm currently in London again, instead of having to update each one by one. Uh, my mom is sending me a message, that's good. And she's letting me know that's my dad's birthday because I completely forgot. I will now send him a thinking of you with my thinking of you feature that just kind of sends a nice message to whoever you want. And here are my buckets. Buckets are essentially places where you can store anything you want. And I like to surf, so this is my surf bucket. I organize it by region and you can add places into it. I've already done so previously. Look in, look at the photos, look at general information about these places, reviews. And here's how, what it looks like to actually add a bucket yourself. So I'm in London, I like Hyde Park. So I'm gonna add it to my London bucket into my favorite parks category. If I go in now, you can see that it's in there. And along with everything else I already added, and like I said before, you can navigate inside, look at photos, reviews, open Google Maps if that's what you so choose to do. And while I'm at it, let me send a bucket to Shane, one of my friends. So that's as easy as sending it. And since I just came back from Hyde Park, I also want to send my mom a postcard. So I'm going to upload a photo for my camera roll, super cute, and include a really personalized note. And then I can choose who I want to send it to. I can send it to one, two, three, four, all my friends. And then I will see a preview of the postcard that will flip around and show the note. And they're going to see this exact same preview when they get the message as well. So just checking that they got it. Yeah. And so now let's go see what Shani got from my bucket. This is his background, it's different from mine because he personalized his own differently. And looks like he got a message from me when I'm sending him my Costa Rica bucket since he's gonna be there next week. And he can just choose to add it and he will get the exact same bucket and we can even collaborate on it. Anything, any changes he makes will also persist online. And one more feature, you can actually access the camera from your home screen and take a photo of anything you want and add that as a personalized place because sometimes the places you like are not on Google Maps. So. Here's just my coding setup for my solo project. I'm gonna add that to my London bucket again, inside chill spots. And if I hop back in there, I can see that it's there and it becomes your own personalized bucket for future reference. My tech stack for this project was um, React Native in the front end and Mongo and Mongoose in the back end. And I used GraphQL and Apollo client and server to tie it all together.